Hello, got another Postbag AliExpress video for you today. I'm testing out some new lighting setups, so it's just a quick video, see if it works. Got some items through the post, got a few items today. Uh, we'll go through them, I'll tell you what they are, what I'm gonna use them for, uh, and there'll be affiliate links in the description below where you can click and buy them on AliExpress. So without further ado, let's just clear all these out of the way. Start with this one, which is down as adhesive sealers, battery storage boxes. So what have we got here? Oh yeah, so this is nickel strip. So this is to go on battery. This is going batteries like 18650s, and this is a one meter nickel strip that you would see on um 18650 cells that are soldered together, or welded together. I'd like to have a play with this nickel strip. Focus, focus. Um, it's a meter of it. Um, yeah, let's have a play with that. And to go with this, we have got these. These are open one. Two of these out. So these are 18650 cell holders. Uh, it's five by four, which gives you 20. And um, got some 18650s here. Um, so they would go in the cells like this. So on and so forth, you'd, you'd alternate them depending on what your cell chemistry is going to be. And then you put the top on, imagine them all filled up. But then you get a bank of 18650 cells that you can build up. Typically you do like a 4S combination, uh, just fill them up with 20 cells. And they're very common in power walls, I just want to have a play with these, it's a real quick and easy way of setting up a, a bank of 18650s. Very cool, very cheap. Okay, this one is down as integrated circuits. And what have we got here? Ah, a bunch of 18650 stuff. Not 18650, ESP8266 stuff. So, we've got Two ESP8266 ESP01 boards. A bit shiny, this new setup. And you see these. This is the ESP01 chip, standard chip that you get. And these guys go with some of these. So these are little module boards. And get some scissors. It's the Dallas DS18B20 um, thermometer essentially. It tells you the temperature and you connect one of these and you set it up for various uh, sensor tasks. That's one of them. One of these which I've already got. This uses the DHT11 chip which is the blue uh, temperature and humidity sensor. Um, very basic little module board. And again, you would connect your ESP8266 to this board. You power it up and you've got yourself a basic little sensor module. And uh, the problem with these though is this temperature chip, this temperature sensor is underneath the ESP01 board, which can get very hot with this chip and it's also next to a regulator which can also get very hot and um, so the readings on this are a little bit off so your best advice best bet is actually to bend this like that so it's out of the way so it's away from this hot chip it's away from the regulator you get a much more accurate reading 
That's one of them. And we've also got this one. Now this is not a temperature chip. We have a connection wire. This goes to a three wire connector. Again, this will go on top. Now this is for some RGB LEDs. Uh, because it's three channel, they are addressable. You got the VCC, you got the ground, you got the signal, which is your data pin, and that'll go off to various addressable LEDs like the WS2812. Uh, Colin Hickey uh, did a video on this. I will put a link up there. That's it, just a few modules to play about with. So here, circuit board, kind of. Uh, this is a OLED 0.66 inch 64 by 48 OLED screen. And the footprint module is for a Wemos. Very, I like the cases. Um, but this is a very, very small OLED breakout board. Focus. I've moved my lighting about. I'm still messing about with this. Um, it doesn't like to autofocus with this lighting setup. Uh -huh, this seems a bit better. So this is an OLED 0.66 inch 6440 on a Wemos breakout. Really tiny OLED. Smaller than the usual ones that you that you get on projects. This was just a cool little breakout board. And it come they all seem to come in these cool little cases now, which just protect them coming all the way. Focus. Cool. Done up there. Next up, we have a bunch of stuff. All sorts. That was good. Uh -huh. So, I've got here first. This is. This is a book step down power converter. This is from 9 to 24. 9 to 24 volts, I believe, down to 5 volts, 3 amps. A very powerful little step down power converter. There you go. Oh, come on. Oh, I've solved my autofocus issue. It wasn't the lighting, it was the format of the video. Gone from 1080 60 frames per second to 1080 30. And it focuses much quicker. There you go. So, yeah, just a simple little book drop down. Buttons. These are cool little buttons. Or big buttons, rather. So they are tactile switches. Um, standard little legs, tactile click clicky, but they have some extra legs on them because they have an LED. So you can light this up and you can make it a glow up button. Got green, red, orange, white, and blue. The uh, plan for this was actually to make a Simon game. A simple Simon where you follow the tones and the colors. So yeah, that was a cool idea. I want to have a play with that. This is this is a CP2102 uh, USB to serial converter. Very tiny, absolutely tiny. Um, just to connect to projects to upload code. Always handy to have one of those. Put that there. That's a bit of that. So this these are one, two, three, four. Get one of these out. Some header pins. Now this is a seven segment display. You've got your four digit, you've got your semicolon, your dots. This is like a breakout board. 
um, and it's using the TM1637 driver chip. You can connect to it via clock and data, five volts. Um, yeah, so you can use it as a clock, use it as a digital readout for characters, numbers, etc. I've got so many of these because this one is green. This one is red. This one is blue. And this one is yellow. I believe I've opened some of other the some of these on another video. You can find it, I'll stick it up here. Uh, but they do all the colours. You can have white and other colours that I've not said. Yeah, I think I've got all the colours now. Cool little things, cool displays, handy to have. No specific project, but we shall see. This little guy, solar panels. Panels. Panel. So this is a solar panel. Very small, handy little panel. This is a five volt. Um, it's 110 mil by 69. Just a small little solar panel. Um, yeah, I was gonna do some projects where you'd recharge an 18650 and then the 18650 would power uh, some kind of outdoor project like a weather station. So I just needed a cool little solar panel. I think one of my commenters recommended getting some little ones like that. So I did. Thank you. Okay, so this is expansion bulb module, which is a generic term for all sorts. Yep. Ah, I've already opened this because I'll go with this one first. This is a Lowlin 32 board, or it is a fake one or a dodgy one. Um, this has a problem with the charging circuit. Uh, apparently, if you plug it in, the LED doesn't show the right characteristics, um, and it's to do with this charging IC circuit, which is the TP. 4054 I believe and so I bought some of those found out this is actually dodgy or broken or fake so I need to fix that uh, but it's an ESP32 USB to serial battery management and various IOs got it a while ago now but it's a bit outdated now that we've got tiny picos and all sorts of cool things still cool little dev board to play with Got lots of these. One, two, three, four, five. Put all those over there. What are these? These are. Get one out. So this is a 10 pin to 6 pin ISP header converter. So it takes your 10 pin cable to your 6 pin um, right configuration ISP headers. Very simple, but always handy to have. Plug straight into ISP headers. Pop that over there. Very cheap, very cool, very handy. One for the parts drawer. And another for the parts drawer are some barrel jacks. So these are your standard 5.2, uh, 2.1 barrel jacks. They are not breadboard friendly because they go onto various cases. So you push that in the hole and then this nut would fasten behind a case and, and tighten it all up. Always need these if you're going to make a little project that's powered with a little power adapter. Always better to have than to not have. What are these guys? So these are SOP8 to DIP8 um, little adapter boards. So there's lots of them. So we actually Snap one off, lose the rest forever. What does this guy do? So you will get a small uh, eight pin chip, like an 80 tiny 85 that is in dip package. You would solder that and then this would become a breadboard friendly uh, version of it. Great for prototyping. If you've got an unusual um, IC that you want a breadboard, we sold it onto there, put some header pins on, and then you've got a breadboard friendly thing to plug in and play with. Again, handy, one for the parts drawer. And to go with those, 
some of these. I saw, I think Julian had these and I was really impressed with these. These are tiny little breadboard um, things. They're supposed to plug into something, I believe. I just thought they were cool. Um, I will put a uh, overlay title of what they are. I can't remember what they are. They just they plug into expansion of breadboards. But I thought they were cool and they were dead cheap. So I've got one. Um, this guy. Yeah. Okay, just bent that. Great. This is a ZIF socket. This is a ZIF adapter. Zero insertion force. This is for plugging in uh, chips. Uh, and then you close that and it holds onto the pins and then that would go onto various boards. Uh, just so you can program, program your firmware onto microcontrollers. And you'd have to keep pushing them in and out of sockets. You just hold onto them and that holds onto the pins and creates a connection. And it has zero insertion force. It's called a ZIF. Again, one for the parts drawer. I imagine I'll make some kind of, use one of the adapters programming if we ever get around to it. Uh, these guys have just come in. Let's, let's grab this one first. Got my address on, so I'm not showing it. Uh, this is an IP camera. It's not, it's a fake one. It's a dummy. Dummy security camera. Um, it's for outdoor use. Now what you can do, um, if I take it off, you can undo this. It does have a battery and that wires up to an LED. Uh, so it's supposed to be like a fake blinking LED. But what I actually want to do is try and use this as a case for my Raspberry Pi based um, security cameras running Motion Eye OS. Um, I'm going to put them outside under my uh, under my guttering my roof and just have a more weatherproof case. It's supposed to be weatherproof. Uh, first, I need to see if I can fit a Raspberry Pi. I don't think I will. Looks pretty small, maybe a zero. But I want to have a play with it. It's a few pounds. See if it would be useful. At the moment, it's just sitting inside and it's getting in the way. So I'd like to actually have a permanent place to mount it. These are all fake. That's some fake bit of plastic, but that's the real LED. Um, yeah, so pull all that, make it an actual usable camera and then get a grommet, rubber grommet that will seal it out of the weather and have a power cable just going off to some power source somewhere. You mount the screws and template. Only a few pounds, very handy, very cheap. We will see if I will use that or not. And the last item, which is a fun item. What is it? It is an ice cube tray. <laughs> yes. Check it out. So this is a diamond ice cube tray. Something you've always wanted, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. We always like a good ice cube in this house. Uh, go with our Prosecco's and various drinks. And this is supposed to make ice cube like ice cubes. Not ice cube, diamond like ice cubes. So we shall see. It was like one pound 50, something like that. And it came in about a week, which was really good. Um, yeah, be interesting to see if this works. Use some boiled distilled water, I think, so it's nice and clear when it freezes. So yeah, that is the final item. Hope you've enjoyed this post bag. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click on the affiliate links down below to get these products, including this awesome little ice tray. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Oh, and what do you think of the uh, the lighting setup? Seems a lot better, a lot more consistent, looks a lot better. Anyhow, cheers, bye.